Hello Capricorn, welcome to my channel, welcome back to uh, my channel for some of you guys. Hope you guys are doing well. So this is your general love reading for uh, May. We're going to take a look and see who's showing up in your reading, see what they're thinking and feeling regarding yourself. And of course, vice versa as well. Guys, feel free to jump ahead to the start of the reading. It is timestamped. So if you click in the description bar below, you'll see where it says start reading. Click on that. That will bring you to the uh, start of the reading. This section is really for those that just kind of prefer to see me shuffle on camera. Okay. So as I always say, please just take what resonates and leave what doesn't. And if this isn't your story, if I don't pick that on your story, stick around as sometimes there could be, you know, there could be messages throughout this that just jump out and speak. And of course, just use this as a guide to support you and move you in the direction of where you're wanting to go. Because ultimately we, we create our own reality. So give me a moment to just finish. Laying these cards, I always look at the center part. There we go. Oh, touche. All right, so let me just take these in and I'll be back. So, Capricorn, let's start your reading. And of course, take whatever side resonates with you guys and picking up as uh, this being your side, the person that you're dealing with over here. So, you can always flip switch whatever side just kind of resonates the most and just quickly just to know guys there won't be a part two to the readings for this week um simply because i've just got a few tweaks to do to the website so just bear with me with that but that would be up and running soon all right and of course if this doesn't resonate with yourself also click out click on the uh, link in the corner there that will allow you to see other readings for this month for your sign cap so let's start so I like to start in the past, just to kind of get an idea of where you guys are coming from. So whoever this is that's showing up in your reading, Capricorn. So this is someone that you either have met or you have known or you've been in a relationship with, um, but now an opportunity has presented itself. So there's an opportunity that's presented itself to start again or to start something new. But I feel like, I feel like for a lot of you, it's more about, this is a someone new. This is someone fresh. Yeah, someone new. This is a new person for a lot of you. But yeah, an opportunity is presenting itself to actually create something with this person, which you're kind of not moving on or you didn't move on. Again, this is the past with the hang around there. It's not the fact that you're not attracted to them. It's not the fact that you're not attracted to them. It's not the fact that, you know, and I would say, she goes so far as to say a strong attraction as well with the lover's card there. There's something else going on for you, which is not, which didn't cause you to want to move ahead on this. In fact, I would go so far as to say stuck. This could have been a, a, a friends with benefit situation where it turned or it started to go on the brink of turning into something else. That's not for all of you. But this person was very much ready so take this to a new level. Do let's, let's let's go with this. Let's go with this. You know, you're attracted to me. I'm attracted to you. We've got an opportunity. You know, there's something going on here. Uh, let's do this. And there was kind of feeling like there's a bit of judgment there. You know, it's like, why why is Capricorn not moving ahead with this? What's going on there? There's questions around that for them. Or was questions around that for them? Yeah. Already laid some for yeah, but the four of um one said which speaks about foundation. So yeah, opportunity in the past with this person that you was definitely not moving on, regardless of the attraction, which brings us to where we are at the moment. Now, this person has already caught feelings for you, Capricorn. I feel like a lot of you already know that. A lot of you already know that this person is, you know, feeling you. In, in a certain type of way, showing up as the Ace of Cups. You, on the other hand, seems like you're engaging in some form of self-sabotaging behavior. Now, that could be maybe uh, maybe 
yes, it could be drinking, smoking, partying too much or just, but I feel like for you, it's more about some internal things that's going on for a lot of you. I feel like this is not something that's new. I feel like once you get to a certain point in the relationship or when it comes to certain relationships, you kind of maybe get fearful or something comes up where you start to sabotage, sabotage, sabotage yourself. Not to say that this is something you even consciously are, are aware of. Maybe you start to nitpick you start to nitpick on maybe what this person is not doing and what they're not showing up as and you know and that's and the, the, that's causing you to just kind of backtrack on this but like it's to do with fear though yes you've laid some form of foundation with the four which is why i feel like on some level you already have some form of relationship with this person you're just finding it quite challenging and this is your challenge is the king of cups the king of cups speaks about stability reliability loyalty this is a family man. That's your challenge. And that's where that, again, going back to the self-sabotaging behavior is coming from. You're not, there's something around this for you. And when I go quiet, for those of you who don't know, that it just kind of means that I'm trying to find the right words to verbalize what it is that I'm feeling. I'm, I'm clear sensitive, so I feel things. Sometimes I find it difficult to find the words or capture the words that will resonate with you guys. But yeah, so this is, this is um, their challenge. This is your challenge. This is your challenge. That stability. I'm not sure what's going on there. Let's cover their spread first and then we'll go back to you. Because I feel like this, I mean, of course, this person is ready and willing. But there's some stuff going on there for you. So we're going to think deeper into that. This person is trying to just process what's going on. I would go so far as to say they're myth, baffled, quite confused. Um, and they're just trying to process what is this? What's going on? Because their challenge is, is actually turning this into a relationship, coming together, collaborating. We're talking the three of pentacles, which talks about collaboration. So what's going on with you, Capricorn? What's causing you to self-sabotage? when it comes to either relationships in general or this relationship particularly. We've got the Wheel of Fortune there. I feel like... Well, oh, do you know what? There's something around you fear and pain. This is a... This is in your challenge with, with the fortune. We've got the Eight of Cups, which talks about moving towards that Knight Cup, emotional happiness. But something needs to, it, there needs to be big transformation. So something needs to end. Something needs to die. Something needs to shed away. Something that you're engaging in, being engaging in, that could be on a tangible level. That could be just internally within your thinking. It needs to change in order for you to embrace relationship, this relationship. And that's what you're scared of. That's what you're fearful of. You know, this has, this, this, it's like, you, 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 are you ready? Are you ready? That's the question. Are you ready to change your life? Are you ready to change your life and embark? Move past your boundaries. Go past the, your limits. It's like you've gone to, gotten to this point before and maybe you've backed up. Again, we'll go back to the self-sabotage. But are you now ready? This is an opportunity that you have in order for you to have a relationship, a healthy relationship for some of you. Are you ready for that transformation? You're wanting to think positive. We've got the four of cups. Let me pull on that. pull on that because the four of cups talks about focusing on and it depends on the deck for me but the four of cups talks about focusing on things that are not going right if the name ten of times the pull ten of cups okay so we do have the ten of cups which talks about emotional fulfillment queen of cups sorry queen of pentacles which talks about you know having established something 
think about if 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 this was, for instance, a business or a a, a relationship or buying a home, a successful one. And then we got the epiphany realization. You're focusing on things that could go wrong or the negative aspects. You're wanting to give to this, but you're finding it quite difficult. You're not going to shift that until this, until you deal with whatever it is that you think could happen. If you take this step, if you do this transformation, journal, write down your thoughts, see what comes up for you. Do some automatic writing. See if there's any fears around relationships for you. Maybe trust issues for, for some of you that might be coming up as well. Because I'm telling you, you've got an opportunity with this person. Now, they do have the two of wands and the nine of wands. So there is a decision that they're wanting to make. But they're also wanting to hold on through the challenges that may face. Ah, ah, love that. I love that. I love that. You've met someone. This is someone special simply because they they, 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 they made a decision. They're going to want to make a decision. They want to make a decision about just being patient with you, understanding. This person might have some insight around, or just maybe that could be due to their work. That could be due to just them, the information that you shared with them, or just their empathic nature. They're being very uh, much an empath or being able to pick up on things which is causing them to hold that position with you this pe person is um mature emotionally mature and very compassionate yeah wanting to give to their six of pentacles as well as holding back but holding what back So usually at this point of the reading, we move into part two. We move and see where this moves to for both of you. But I will be implementing that in the next two weeks, guys. Um, I'm just, like I said, uh, the technical difficulties that I'm having. So hopefully this is giving you some form of clarity. For those of you who don't know, I do weekly singles and love readings. If that's something that interests you, as I say, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Other than that, have a beautiful, beautiful day. And I shall see you next week.